What's up, everybody? My name is James Turnipseed. Welcome to Comic Book Review. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it at that. Usually I do these on Fridays, but today. Getting this to you as early as possible. No turning back. Volume 25. Look at Negan with the sand on his shoulder. Uh, so this one picks up right where Volume 24 left off with the Pikes. And all the said people. There you go. They're all looking at Ezekiel. Um, Michonne's kind of upset and freaks out a bit. And uh, they end up stabbing all the heads and burying them there. A lot of talking and nothing too super important. Everyone's real upset and wants to take action. Against the whispers, and Eugene finds out that Rosita's dead, and we learned that it wasn't his baby, and he knew that, and they were gonna keep quiet. Um, Rick and Maggie get into a heated discussion. There's Maggie looking real pissed, and uh, she brings up that it would actually be Carl's fault, if anyone's fault, because he brought uh, the girl Lydia with them. And then they get heated, and Maggie actually kicks the shit out of Rick. Well, not really, but she hits him a couple times. There you go. Bam, bam. Um, then Maggie stops, and she's kind of like, Oh, Jesus Christ! And then they sorry and apologize. And even in down here, one dude's like, And we're all friends again. Cool. Which is how I feel about this show and the where it's at. Um, there's a nice touching moment with, uh, Rick and Michonne. Here, don't mind the tissue, that's, uh, for things. Basically, Rick's just telling her about how, uh, it's okay, and Michonne feels bad about, uh, her kids. She gave custody to the father, and they died, um, so she feels bad about that, and he's kind of, and then she feels bad about Ezekiel and, uh, what happened, and Rick just telling her, like, hey, I lost my wife, my daughter, and this, and I got Andrea, and everything's great, and they, uh, she calls him a dick, Because he told her, like, it's time to stop running away from your problems. And then, uh, he explains it to her, like I said, and she's like, you're, you're fucked up, Rick, but love you. So that makes it weird in the TV show, but, again, that's for another video that I'll probably do sometime soon. Um, so, yeah, and then Eugene got the bright idea that, hey, we have Alpha's daughter. Let's, let's use her. So, uh, they want to, like, we have your kid type of thing. And, uh, Maggie takes her to the hilltop, and Michonne kind of creeps up, and that's when they start talking. But she actually pulls a gun on Andrea, and then Carl pulls the gun back at her. See, put the gun at Lydia, slow so Andrea. And, uh, they're just like, hey, don't worry, you'll be safe, and we're, this is for your safety. And, uh, she's confused, like, you told me your people were good, and they'll stop hurting me. Like, you, you brought me here to get, so I will stop getting hurt. Like, what, what, what's going on? Um, this, I'll save it for another video, but, the people are pissed because they killed kids, wives, husbands, sons, and they want action, so at the meeting, Rick's like, calm down, like, we'll make a plan and everything, and we're like, we need fucking action, and he's like, running up against them would be stupid, and they're like, you calling us stupid, so it's kind of like, there's too many people, it's not a government in, in place, like, Rick, Maggie, uh, Dwight, and Ezekiel were leaders, but people revolt. So here we go. They get pissed. 
and just do the try to bounce people, and they're like, don't fuck touch me, bro. And then they start fighting each other. So they're so pissed and angry at the Whispers for killing their people, but they fight with each other. Keep that in mind. And it goes on. They keep fighting. There you go, some more. And then Rick, being the sheriff, cop, we call him sheriffs where I come from, but, uh, pulls the gun, shoots the gun, and then talks, and he's just like, fuck. And then we got the Wyatt struggling with, I don't want to be the leader, and, uh, this girl Laura's talking to him. And we get some more backstory on the Wyatt and his wife, Sherry. And, uh, we learned that she was a stupid cunt. Laura's words, not mine. To tell you about her, Sherry is a stupid cunt, okay? I said it. When you guys got here and, uh, Negan offered her safety and luxury, what did she do? She kicked your ass to the curb. Negan didn't pressure her. Negan didn't force her to do anything. He just offered her something she wanted. She threw you away so she could be lazy and get pampered. And maybe she came back to you and maybe Negan scared her a little. Once she made her deal with the devil. And maybe once you saved her from her stupid fucking decision. She was really grateful for a while and almost seemed like she loved you. But now she's gone and left you again. Like the stupid fucking cunt that she is. I appreciate you saying that all, all that. But that doesn't change how I feel. Well, then maybe you're a stupid cunt too. And you deserve what you're going through. And then she kisses him because she likes him. For who, she, who he is and everything. And uh, he's still leaving no matter what. And here's more Maggie. Or not Maggie. Andrea. Uh, getting them in safety. And then Rick actually talks to... Negan in jail and asks him for advice and he basically just tells him it's us versus them and then but they draw it out for many many pages because it's Negan and uh, this was interesting Vincent actually almost hit his wife because their son Josh is dead his wife Julia see because she kind of stood up for Rick a little bit and then this dude showed up and then I'll do a rant video cause with the comic and TV show because this happened next. Um, they're taking action against Rick Grimes and beat him up because all he does is talk. Talk, talk, talk. See, even right here, this dude's like, enough talking from you. All you do is talk. A useless fucking talk. And then Vincent's like, enough. See, so it looks like the end for old Rick Grimes. You see all that? And, you know, Vincent took off his hood and he's like, he wasn't supposed to see us. Now we got no choice, Vincent. Just fucking keep, keep fucking watching. And, uh, Vincent... Tries to protect Rick. And. Don't go. Too good for the dude. Because he's trying to kill off Rick. You know. So it's. But then. Rick does the old jugular bite. You know that. So he bit his neck. And then he's bleeding out. Andrea goes to check on old Carl and Lydia, and they doing the nasty, nasty. Um, then we cut back, and Maggie finds Rick, and things weren't looking good for old Rick, but hey, Rick's fine. And then, uh, he sends Michonne to find Vincent, and back on your horses. Can't just attack people in the middle of the night. And then Rick gives a big speech about how they're going to build a military to take out the Whispers. And uh, here's Dwight showing up. 
with his new lady friend. And uh, they bring up Vincent. And he looks kind of like, oh, I fucked up. People make mistakes, guys. And uh, he ends the speech with, Evil is at our doorstep. It looms large over us. All the whispers are out there. And they have shown how dangerous they are. This is not a time to kill our own. It's time to band together so we can kill the whispers. So we can silence the whispers once and for all. And then everybody, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes. So loud that even old Negan can hear it. Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes, Rick Grimes. Bam! Atta boy. And that's how it ends. So like I said, I will do a rant video with all the things that piss me off from the TV show and the comic book and where... I'll tell you about it. But if you feel free for that, thanks for watching this for everything. Let me know what's up. Peace. I'm out. Do that cool YouTube